All right, this is quick. I gotta get going too. <clears throat> Artificial sweeteners. You guys don't want to give them up. You're used to it. You think diet yogurt and diet soda are the mainstays of your healthy diet. People, you're lying to yourselves. That stuff is crap. It's filled with artificial, not just artificial sweeteners, people. It's filled with artificial flavors and colors. The stuff that artificial sweetener is put in is crappy food source stuff that you shouldn't be eating anyway. I think across the board. The things that have artificial sweetener, you shouldn't be having that or their sugar version either. It's not like they put artificial sweetener in broccoli, you know what I'm saying, or real foods or whole foods or, you know, healthy foods. So that's stuff you shouldn't be having. All that stuff does is allow you to continue making bad food choices without the guilt because you think it has no calories or reduced calories instead of learning to eat healthier foods, learning to adjust your tastes and like healthier foods. If you were somebody who was crazily drinking like a six pack of soda a day and you switched to diet, would it have helped you lose weight? Yes, because you're reducing a massive amount of calories. Had you switched to water, would it have helped you lose weight? Yes, because you'd be reducing massive amounts of calories. And also not putting artificial crap into your body, which now it turns out might actually be causing many of the complications Hi. that obesity causes. So, let's think about that. Also, I know you're saying, Mrs. F, but you don't like the taste of artificial sweetener, so it's easy for you. Yeah, but people, let me tell you a little story. A couple of years ago, I went to the doctor, rheumatologist, because you may know this. I have chronic, chronic body pain. Could not get diagnosed for the life of me. Because, you know, young women, apparently we don't have problems. Anyway, I did. I had rheumatoid arthritis. But I got pregnant. And I could not go on any kind of um, medicine, which is a good thing because they have crazy side effects. And I was sent to a special nutritionist who told me to give up wheat. And I said, no, thank you. I'd rather be in pain than not eat wheat because that's one lifestyle choice for another. So I see where you're coming from. But I thought about it and I thought about it. And after I had a kid and I was in pain again, I decided, I don't actually like being in pain. Maybe it's worth a try. And people, it worked. And was it hard to give up wheat? You better believe it was hard. It's so much harder than giving up artificial sweetener. It's not even a comparison. Anyone out there with a severe food allergy knows. Come on. Wheat isn't just in every baked product, bread, pasta, cakes, cookies. It's in almost any manufactured product. So let's face it. It was a hard pill to follow. Not to mention people, you know I love baking. In fact, when I started, I was actually trying to get my pastry chef chef certification. I mean, I was surrounded by wheat. And I did it. So, people, I know. I know how you're feeling right now. And I know you're like, it's not worth it. Glug, glug. I'm going to keep having it. Well, when you're still 10 pounds overweight, or you're still struggling to lose weight, or whatever, and you're finally ready to try something and see what is it that's causing my metabolism to be stuck here, maybe then you'll think about giving up the artificial sweeteners and seeing if that was the key all along. I will never forget, probably about 20 years ago, I was watching Sally Jesse Raphael, so you know it was a long time ago. And Richard Simmons was on, also proof that it was a long time ago. And he had just finally decided to give up diet soda. And he lost 15 pounds just by giving it up, people. So, you need more proof than that? Read the studies. Or look around you. Look around you, people. How many overweight people do you know who are stuck on artificial sweeteners? Hmm? Okay. Check, check.